Hello, everyone. We're here with Daniel Frost, the current vice president of the EAG. Very excited to have your time. Thank you so much for it, yeah, Daniel. You're very welcome. Uh, we're going to jump right into it with a, you know, the burning questions that we have for you. As a geochemist, as a geochemist, I've been saying geochemist all day. I want you to say it. Geochemist. Yeah, I know. Okay. Just nice adding try. an extra Nice try, mate. Uh, <laughs> English isn't my first language. <laughs> right. Uh, all right. Yeah. So as a geochemist, what do you find is the most beneficial or important part of these Goldschmidt meetings? Yeah. Yeah, thanks. I mean, I am I'm a geochemist, but I'm a, I'm a certain type of geochemist. I'm, a, I'm an experimental geochemist. Ooh. So so what, what I do, what I'm looking for is the evidence in nature and the, you know, the rocks that people have gone out and analyzed or the space missions where people have gone to yes. go and collect the rocks and they, and they bring those and present them in Goldschmidt. And for me, I then try and find experimental problems to solve from those data. So, so it's absolutely essential for me to be able to sort of mix with the, what I would sort of call real geochemists, you know, the guys that <laughs> real deal with real rocks. Sure. Because to be perfectly honest, what I then do is, is grind up chemicals to make them look like rocks and then try and do experiments on them to try and explain processes in the Earth's interior, for example, or, or, or other planetary problems. So, so a meeting like this, where it has a, a wonderful diversity of different um, natural observations, both going from isotopes right the way through the Earth's interior, then to other planets, it's just a wonderful, wonderful possibility for me to kind of source new problems and to source new ideas about what I can uh, do my research on. And, and, and we don't get conferences like that otherwise. And other conferences tend to be kind of like more specialized. So if I go there, I might find, you know, one type of thing that might be interesting. But here there's such a great range and there's such a great diversity that it makes it a really worthwhile meeting for me. Fascinating. Oh, man, your passion is, uh, is palpable as well. I love it. it. It's only a matter of time before you're going to be president. So speaking now as future president, how do you envision Goldschmidt in Prague looking? Is there anything you're looking forward to specifically? What, what's very important to us when, when we are thinking about designing a meeting is to make it, as they try to refer to it, as bottom up. So it's, it's a very much a, a, the community comes along and proposes the, the, the sessions or even changes to themes, for example, that, um, that they want to hear. And, and that's the most important part. The, the alternative to that is top down, where somebody makes a decision and says, well, we're going to be listening to this, this, and this in Prague. Well, that's absolutely not how it works, mm -hmm. you know. And the most essential part of it is that the people who have been in the sessions this year and have maybe looked around and sort of thought, well, it would be really nice if we had something on this because this is becoming really big, then, then it's really up really to the community to try and propose those sessions. I mean, when we have our science committee, if we think that there are then holes in the meeting that maybe haven't been filled correctly, then of course we, we'd step in and propose sessions there. But one of the most interesting things is that sometimes, not necessarily at this meeting, but in other meetings, people have come up to me and they said, well, I, I was a bit disappointed because I didn't have any um, uh, um, high pressure metamorphic petrology in this meeting. And you say, well, wait a minute, did you propose a session in that? You know, because this is how it kind of works. You know, yeah. that you, you know if, you, if there's something that's missing and people don't find that, then, you know, it's really up to our sort of like that bottom up model for them to propose it. And that's why the call for sessions is a really important moment in, mm. the, in the Goldschmidt meeting. And that's what we, uh, we of course, try to encourage the community to, to think about what they might want to see in, in Prague and, and, and where their field may be not being as represented as it could be, mm -hmm. or, or where there's a direction that that field is going into that they think would be, um, will be um, very important by that time, particularly when it comes to sample return missions. That's a prime yes. example, but, but normally in most meetings, just as in this meeting, the community has stepped up. And when you look at the variety of sessions that you have in the Goldschmidt this year, for example, it's just it's just fantastic. It's really, that's and, and that's really down. Of course, conference organisation is is a, is a is a tricky thing, and, mm -hmm. and people put a lot of time and effort into it. But when we look ultimately at the wonderful range of sessions that they have, it's really down to the community really stepping up and um, and, and filling the filling the science with uh, with the things that they want to see of course and the things that we're all that we're all interested in there you go you have to participate if you want to know about pyric metamorphology ask for it <laughs> right. there you go. Exactly, exactly daniel frost vice president of the eag thank you so much for your time no, today, you're, very you're very welcome you're very welcome enjoy the rest of the conference okay